Hello and welcome to Face Off, the show that brings you the latest on French politics. This week, the issue of migrants risking their lives to reach Europe has been at the heart of debates. From the far right to the far left, parties have all got different views on immigration. They all reacted differently to the recent tragedy, where hundreds of migrants died after their vessel capsized in the Mediterranean Sea. So what solutions are they putting forward? What are they, are they actually suggesting? We'll be discussing all of that today with two senior reporters, Philippe Tao from RFI and Jean-Marc Gonin from Le Figaro. Philippe, my first question goes to you. What did you think of the response of the French president, François Hollande, who spoke of the need for more patrolling boats in the Mediterranean Sea and who especially condemned the role of smugglers labeling them terrorists. Has he got the right approach? Has he got the right policies? It's a very complicated issue. I think that what he said, everybody thinks, is right. I think that definitely there do there certainly need to be more uh, patrol boats in the Mediterranean. They've cut down the numbers to a third of what they used to be, and we've seen this enormous wave of migrants trying to get to Europe, and now the nice weather has arrived for the summer. There are obviously going to be more and more of them, and the response from Europe has not been in line with the needs of these people. And you can't let hundreds of people drown in the Mediterranean and not take the right approach to try to save as many lives as possible. That is an issue that no one can ignore independently of what happens to these people afterwards, where they go, whether they stay in Europe or not. So that's the first point. And the second point is that he's described the, the, the people, the smugglers, as terrorists. There is some kind of grounds, I think, to do that, because we don't know where the money that these people are paying is going. We don't know whether it's going to fund terrorism. We don't know whether it's going to, to fund uh, mafia groups. Uh, these migrants are paying huge amounts of money, like a 1,000 euros, to come on these boats, being forced onto them to come to Europe. The money's going somewhere. No one knows where it's going. So those two things, I think, are definitely the right approach. The big problem is what do we do with these people once they get to Europe? And we know it's a very lucrative business. It generates hundreds of millions of uh, dollars, euros every year. Uh, the Interior Minister Bernard Cazeneuve uh, stressed in Brussels the need for more rescue teams. Here's Bernard Cazeneuve. We need more resources and more boats. We all agree that these extra vessels are necessary in order to save lives. Jean-Marc Gonin, what's your uh, reaction? What's your take on the uh, government's policies? Well, the uh, France has um, has profiled itself in the world as a nation of humanitarian aid, a sort of, of, of uh, avant-garde of the humanitarian aid. So um, any French government, be it uh, socialist or conservative, has to fulfill some kind of, of role it has uh, profiled itself with. Uh, so Kaznov is saying this, and this is also... Um, something of an attack um, against especially the UK that has been extremely reluctant last year when uh, uh, there was within European circles there was that discussion to uh, uh, renew the, the operation even to increase it and especially London said uh, no way this will work as an incentive to bring to bring more uh, uh, foreigners uh, uh, illegal uh, immigrants to Europe and do you feel there's a difference between the UMP the opposite the main opposition party Sarkozy's party and the socialists when it comes to the issue of migrants yes well you feel when there is a question of migrants, there is the shadow of the Front National, of the National Front that is here. Uh, we all know that their uh, share in the votes is increasing, so everybody is scared. And having new migrants coming to the country uh, might increase their tally. So everybody is is, is really really tense with this uh, with this subject. But within the uh, let's say that within the ranks of socialist voters. Uh, that sense of the sense of rescuing those poor people is stronger than uh, within conservative voters who say, "Oh, these these people will come and plunder. Uh, we will have to to give them housing, money, work, etc." And uh, so the uh, uh, the attitude is will 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 have to be tougher. Uh, within the Conservatives. Do you agree with that, Philip? Yes, I do, and I think that also there's a lot of misunderstanding in France about what these people are have the right to if they come here. People seem to think they just have to turn up in France and they get free housing, free family allowances. Of course, that's not true. Uh, but I think Jean-Marc is right. There is this big spectre of, of the, the fact that people are going to turn against the ruling parties if there is an open-door policy to let in 
vast numbers of migrants into not only France but to the United Kingdom and to other European countries. So I've listened to a lot of different politicians being interviewed over the past week in France and some are saying well we should let them in but only for a very short term basis. That seems to be uh, the general view from the ruling Socialist Party. The, the UMP is saying well we can let them in but what we need to do is to is to bolster support for the countries where they come from and especially sort out the crisis in Libya so that Libya is can act as a, as a, a kind of place where they can go to and they're not under threat and that would also be part of the solution to the the problem that, that is being caused at the moment and then others like the National Front are saying well we shouldn't let them in we've just got to send them straight back again but how can you send back all these migrants who are fleeing civil wars fleeing persecution fleeing the Islamic State to the country they come from it's just not psychologically and physically possible well, it mentioning, does, sorry, just mentioning one it does seem that the UMP is taking a stronger stance on this issue. Uh, they've strongly criticised the European Union, and I'd like to take a listen to uh, one of the party heavyweights, uh, Bruno Le Maire. Here's what he said. Europe needs to know how to protect its borders. I put myself in the shoes of Italian, French, Spanish citizens throughout Europe who ask, what's the point of our European project if we aren't even able to defend our borders? Borders define a political space. If we aren't able to protect it, then there's no European project. Listening to that, it does seem that the UMP is trying to reassure French voters who might have fears regarding immigration, eh? Well, they, they certainly do, and globalization uh, has increased the, the influx of, of, uh, of uh, immigration in, in Europe. There's no doubt about this. So uh, people feel that uh, they must be somehow protected. And there is a big need there, and Bruno Le Maire was mentioning in that very interview we saw, that there's no common uh, uh, policy in Europe towards immigration. Every, every single state is under its own flag as it's got its rules. So it's, it's a pretty weak uh, organization within Europe. And that's also what Bruno Le Maire is saying, and a lot of, of, of uh, French voters feel this way. And is it the European Union that's uh, guilty in this, uh, I think this whole that tragedy? A, it's, a, it's a collective uh, responsibility of Europe. You've got the five countries that are most affected by this, notably Italy and Spain and Malta, which uh, bear the brunt uh, of, of these immigrants trying to get to, to Europe. Uh, they say they can no longer deal with this and, th and they need help, but none of the other countries, I think, really is very enthusiastic about it. I think you've got, you've got two viewpoints. You've got the official view, which is, well, yes, uh, we need to help them, but we can only help them up to a certain level. It's the, the Europe needs to, to take responsibility. And the unofficial one, which is, well, we really ought to let these people in, but we can't because we're scared that if we do, we're going to lose the next election because be, obviously uh, the National Front of Marine Le Pen is playing on the, the we've got too many immigrants in France already, we can't have any more in because they'll take away jobs from French people. And, and that, because of the, the crisis that Europe's been going through over the past five years, uh, is ringing true with a lot of people who are losing their jobs and finding themselves in a difficult situation. They say we don't want any more immigrants in this country, so, you know, we can't accept them. But I think there's no excuse not to accept them. And basically they can't not be accepted because we can't just let these people keep dying in, in the middle of the Mediterranean in these flimsy dinghies that uh, don't even make it. And after this uh, recent tragedy, uh, we witnessed a, war, a short war of words on Twitter. Former President Nicolas Sarkozy called for a more action from the European Union. It prompted an angry response from the National Front leader Marine Le Pen, who said, how dare you try to be the fireman when you were the one who set fire to the region with your foreign policy. Obviously, she's talking about the war on Libya. Yes, well, uh, I, 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 I scarcely agree with uh, Marine Le Pen, but this time she has got a point there. I think France has been the uh, front rider in, the, in, that, uh, in, in that war. Sarkozy was the pushiest leader with, with David Cameron. And, well, they killed, they, 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 they killed, they stumbled uh, Gaddafi, who was killed, and then they let the job uh, like this. I mean, and on that very, very specific point, uh, the far right and the far left agree they blame uh, Western military interventions uh, for this tragedy. Well, it, it's, I mean, it's not only the case in Libya. The, the problem is that it was all fine to go in and get rid of, of Colonel Gaddafi. I don't think anybody regrets the fact he's not around anymore. But the problem, there was no 
exit strategy. There was no long-term plan for Libya afterwards. So we have this situation now which is totally untenable of two governments in the same country uh, with no state, um, anarchy and Islamic State also managing to get a foothold there. So this is going to push even more people away. And now the debate is, well, what can we do to try to stabilise the situation in Libya? What can Europe do to try to uh, not only... Um, Make, make things better in Libya, but also in Niger, where a lot of other uh, migrants are coming from, what kind of action can we take? Can we send in ground troops? But of course, no one's going to want to do that. So but, the, when the actual... Le Pen, but when Marine Le Pen uh, attacks uh, uh, Nicolas Sarkozy in Libya, is it not a way for her to just avoid the whole humanitarian side of this tragedy? Of course. Of course it is. Of course it is. She, she, doesn't want, she has no way with that. She does she's want opposed to, to immigration. She wants she's to curb immigration. She's opposed to immigration. And when you listen to them off the record, they will say, uh, let's deploy navies there and just block block the, sh the, the, the boats and, and send them back to the coast. Part of the problem is that because the National Front won 25% in the last elections, the government, Francois Hollande, and the opposition of Nicolas Sarkozy, which is also scared of this continued rise in support for the National Front, can't really say or do what I think it would like to do, because it's scared that if it does, it's going to boost support for the National Front. Of course, Marine Le Pen is rubbing her hands with this story, saying this is exactly what I need to boost support for my movement, because for any immigrant, every immigrant that we let into this country, that's going to, to bring me another vote at the next elections, the next regional elections in France later this year. So it's, it's very complicated to find a balance between how we cope with the National Front and to not upset people too much by letting these migrants in, and at the same time, what are we going to do to stop these people from from uh, uh, drowning in the Mediterranean. We've got to launch some kind of humanitarian uh, s situation to save them. Um, and it, it's, it's very complicated. And the other problem is, of course, they're very scared that the more people they let in, it's going to act as a kind of, uh, as they call it in French, uh, an open door where people are going to say, well, they got into France, let's go ourselves, and more and more and more people will want to come. So they have to show that they're being firm, they're not going to let everybody else in, but they can't let people continue to, to die. Philippe Tell, Jean-Marc Gonin, thank you very much for sharing your views, sharing your insights, obviously. It's the end of Face Off. Stay tuned. More news to follow on France 24.